Well, what's special about computer science? I see it as really unique. Uh, I know every professor says this about his or her discipline, but computer science is definitely not boring. A science that changes literally every minute. Uh, a science that infiltrates every other science. Uh, it changes the way business works. It changes the way society works. So I, I used to think physics is that science, but quickly is changing. Uh, I dare say it's the mathematics of the 21st century. It's really unique. And I guess the best way to sum it up is to say you will never be bored <laughs> if you are in this field. I guess most important thing is to uh, expose some fallacies about this field. Many people believe computer science is about programming. It's not about programming. Indeed, 80 to 85 percent of my students leave and don't work with programs. They work with people. They're business analysts. They discuss problems. They try to solve problems. And they delegate the issue of writing code to somebody else. It's not about programming. Uh, also, another misconception that you have to be excellent in math to do computer science. Well, it's not the math that is taught in high schools. We use logical math, known as discrete math, it has nothing to do with calculus, and mathematics in its continuous form does not really apply to computer science. It's the notion of logical thinking that's crucial. So if you're in high school and if you like to capture things precisely, articulate them precisely, and be logical in the way you connect the dots, you're an excellent candidate. So my advice is come in with the love of that. If you don't like this thing, this, thing, this analytical way of thinking and logical way, then this is not your field. But if it is, then definitely come in. And all what we look for is somebody who can see the big picture and is fascinated by the landscape by how much this field is affecting everything around us. If you like that, I don't see a problem. Um, general advice for students in universities, whether it's in computer science or anything else, is really to learn how to interact with each other, to make connections, whether it's with a professor, whether it's with a friend, uh, but really the way you interact and you communicate what is it that you do and the other person does, this is what it's really all about. It's the ability to actively engage in the learning process. Uh, do not expect to sit back and say, okay, teach me. Uh, it's really highly interactive. And yes, the professor plays a role, but the student plays a bigger role. Once you have your degree in computer science, um, the sky's the limit in what you can do. As you all know, uh, computer science is permeating each and every field around us, so finding a job is easy, uh, unlike other, other professions and fields. And uh, case in point is the global recession we are in. Uh, our graduates face lit dif little difficulty finding jobs. Uh, graduates from New York University in particular go typically either to the IBM lab here or to the financial industry all, or in Waterloo to, rem, to research in motion. And the kind of jobs they get um, have to do with liaising between the technical people who write code and the business and the user of the, of the technology network infrastructure, actual development, web development, mobile development. Uh, really, it's, it's quite easy to find a job. Um, the hottest things these days, perhaps, is data mining, uh, mobile, mobile computation, where you can program your BlackBerry or iPhone or what have you, and um, have computing everywhere. Some of our students like the field and like to continue into a master or a PhD program uh, doing uh, work in things like vision research, uh, as I said, databases and data mining and things like that.